<laughs> Welcome. My name is Ed. I'm in my armchair and the smoking lamp is lit. And wow, guess what I'm smoking today? I a Sikian, and he calls it his Sherlock Holmes. And if you can guess, I love it. Kind of a swan neck to it. It is beefy. You can see you have a these thick bowl. I love this pipe. And why are we having this today? Because today is Friday of Pipe Week. And I am going to show you my artisan pipes. Of course, this is one. Smoking um, Haunted Bookshop. And, uh, excuse me. Hey, Doc. Doc. Um, if you can remind me to order some more Haunted Bookshop. We're really low. I, I really thought I had more. Oh, and what is that smell? I'm sorry. I was saying, artisan pipe. And it's funny. I was, you know, had an idea of doing this. Had pipes in mention, in, in mind. Yeah. And as I started going out through all of my pipes, um, I have a lot of artisan pipes. Um, I'm actually kind of proud of that. Uh, all of them, well, almost all of them are new. Um, you know, it's not an estate type thing. Okay, since we already mentioned a Sikian pipe. Let me show you a couple more. This guy right here. Hmm. I have to. I'm going to try to not put it down. <laughs> Look at that. Asikian calls this his Bing. I have a few Bings. <laughs> but this is his. Beautiful, basically. Pretty much like a billiard. With, you know, the metal on it. I like this pipe. This one I saw on a scout, I just... Had to get it. Got it actually from Briar Blues. This one I saw also in a Sikian pipe. And I think he calls it a cherry. But look at this guy. Really thin around, or thick around here. Thin. <laughs> Beautiful workmanship on the ring. Beautiful pipe. So that is my three Asikian pipes. Let's see. Okay. I got two Eric Weaver. 
Pepsi smoke pipes and pottery. This one I bought. Had this one for a while now. It's kind of close to a um, nose warmer. It's kind of shorter. I really like it. Beautiful grain. His coloring. I mean, you can kind of see his stuff from a mile away. Really nice. This one, though, and as a couple of people commented, you can tell it's an Eric Weaver pipe, but I watch him and he has a bunch of pipes and one of his, I think it was his live, but it was a video of his. He had this pipe, but it was his, the one he was smoking. So when I got together and started thinking, what pipe would I have him do this? I remember this guy, which I just loved. So this is a commissioned Eric Weaver. Look at that guy. We got the plateau, we got the plateau down here. Same, oh, hold on. Kind of same stain to it. Beautiful grain going up through here. I mean, look at that. See if you can see it. Incredible work. When I can't talk to him, I just simply said, you had a poker in one of your videos. Give me something close to that. And he did. I love it. That was a commission poker. Okay. Next. LCS. London Colin Simon. This I got through one of his shows. I saw this. Fell in love with it. This is a nose warmer. I mean, you know, beautiful pipe. <laughs> so I got that one. Then this, uh, I haven't had that long. And we actually, I'm sorry, I think you actually showed that yet yesterday. Doc and the captain showed it in my um, semi-church warden. Beautiful pipe. The Simon Wave. Look at the grain on this guy. It is just beautiful. Bird's eye there. You have to love it. And I do. Now this one, Tom Phillips. This one I bought to Simon. I saw it. He had a bunch of pipes he was selling. And uh, is that available? Pot. Beautiful pipe, beautiful grain. So I got that. To Simon, but Tom Phillips. Okay, let's get into something else. Let's see, what do we go in here? Oh, okay. I'm going to actually put this down. 
Привет, Крит. Фил Ривайл. Ривера. Look at this guy. Got this damn work. And this is an outdoor pipe. You know, with the um, wind guard, wind screen. Put that down. Beautiful pipe, Phil Orvara. And so far also, you gotta realize, everybody, these guys, the workmanship is worth it. And this one, another Phil Rivera pipe, also showed yesterday. He calls it his reader. Look at that. Beautiful pipe. Just gorgeous. If at first you don't succeed, smoke a pipe, then try again. Now, I got J.M. Boswell pipe. Just a nice, nice. And I'm trying to describe this, but just like the heavier pipes that I like, this is rustification. It feels good for me. It's just as maybe slightly shorter, but it's just a regular pipe. Kind of a quarter bent, it's a little bend to it. But I like this. J.M. Boswell. But I got another Boswell pipe. And this one I bought at Boswell's, a poker. Look at the plateau on that. So I think it may be two years ago now, we had a meetup at Boswell's. And I had to buy one as a souvenir. Boswell poker pipe. Love it. Okay. I'm organizing right now. Okay, these are pipes. Okay, I guess we have five left. These are pipes that I only have one of the individual artisan. A Dagner poker. It's also like a nose warmer. Notice the, um, the bowl. He calls this his Shotgun, shot glass bowl or pipe. I saw this. Now this is, he, he did a series, he did a fair amount of these, of the same exact pipe. You know, I, I think it was maybe 10 or 15, maybe more, but still, I like the uniqueness of it. Dagner pipe. Hmm. Okay. This guy here. Beautiful grain. Nice. It's not quite like a pyramid. I wouldn't call it that. But it's really neat. Look at the bottom. That's rustificate. Rustificated. Rusted. Rust. Rust. <laughs> You know what I mean. <laughs> this I got at 
Gatlin Burrier, Burrier, my last golf trip. Got it from Richard. This is a Ron Smith. I wanted to get a pipe from there and I wanted to be a local, you know, pipe, something that is, you know, there. And I'm not sure where Ron's out of. I think he's still in Tennessee, but he, he's close there. So they sell his pipes. And I loved it. Filled it up with, um, I forget which burly tobacco, because I bought a bunch of tobaccos from Gatlin Burrier earlier. So I bought this, filled it up, and Richard and I just had a talk. He was working, so I not like he could leave. Put right there, smoked a pipe with him. Pleasant, pleasant day. Played golf earlier. Good day. Good day. Okay. So, this is the last, com no, it's not even the last commission I did. <laughs> Giuliani Begaletti Begaletti I had a commission one from there just the Ben Dublin what I asked for and left it up to him beautiful pipe rusticated also Neat little ring. Great smoker. Right out of the box. I really like this pipe. And that was, I maybe got this maybe two, three years or three months ago. But it isn't my latest commission. That would be this pipe here. I just showed that. Raw. Grunwald pipes. The rusticated wizard. Is this gorgeous? This is a semi church warden. It's actually, well, it's actually kind of just a, not as, quite as long as my church wardens, but it's actually, I'm sorry, it is actually a, a church warden. I saw this from JMZ, John, showed it, he got one at the Chicago Pipe Show. I saw that. Loved it. Had to get it. It's mine now. Great little pipe. So I've had this actually only probably about a month now. Maybe not even that. Beauteous. So now... Finally, yep, finally, the very first pipe I ever had commissioned, I'm going to put this guy down here. Very first pipe I ever had conditioned, commissioned from Jay Mouton. Look at this. fossilized whale, whale spine. This is the first, now he does this, but it's the first I'd ever seen it. 
hers of his and I go, oh, I want that too. Beautiful. And it is, oh, excuse me, a calabash. Huh? Although it's not a Meerschaum calabash, so I have some of those too. But is that beautiful? I know I didn't bring it over, but I I had to make me a um, tamper to match this. Great little deal. So this was my first commission pipe. I love it. Well, those are my artisan pipes. Boy, I love them. <laughs> and when you look at them now, you go, I didn't realize I had this many. <laughs> oh, I love it. And what can be said about all of these? They are beauteous, Megamus Maximus. That's Latin, you know. So, I hope you like this. If you do, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And remember, if you don't like this, you're not going to get to heaven. So may your smoking lamp always be lit. Take care out there.